Hello and welcome back to Chevelle Tales. Today we are continuing our playthrough of Vampire. We are playing it on a PS4. Let's go ahead and jump back in. We're continuing from where we left off on the last video, focusing on family portraits as well as a journey to the past. What happened here? I just heard something. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Driven by something. During you all's first playthrough, what would you suggest, like, indifference in terms of what would you do to improve this game? Don't get me wrong, this game is really good, but I can't help but to compare it to the previous games that they had on the uh, previous consoles, you know, PS2, PS3, and maybe even the actual PS1. There's just so much potential to this game. I'm just Interesting to see what else they have to do with it. I'm hoping they continue it like with a part two. For those of you who are who have already beaten the game, is there a new game plus option? And if so, do you actually get the opportunity to continue from where you left off in terms of your level? And all of that you've achieved, as well as your weapons, or can you only continue um, and only keep certain things from your previous game? He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. Yeah, I'm getting a feeling that I'm getting ready to go against some type of boss. If I missed anything. Hmm. I don't think you need this money anymore, sir. But I'll do my best to stop whoever did this to you. You know, as much detail that they actually put into this game, one thing that I would have loved to have or have seen is, um, and I know different vampire, there are different vampire lores and myths and things of that nature. But there are certain mirrors in this game that I would have loved to, you know, walk up to it and not be able to see my reflection. And some of them I can, and some of them I can't, so. Yeah, it's just my little picky details, I guess. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. Wow. The sickos didn't even spare the children. Coming, I feel it. Uh huh. It is always that one person left, huh? Trying to make sure I get everything I can. Sometimes when I play through the game, one thing that I will say I don't like about this game is that if I get to a certain point and um, rather it's a story, uh, part of the story, or even you know like a side mission, I feel like certain times if I don't like get as much as I can now. I feel like I sometimes miss things and I can't even go back to get what was there previously. Oh. Keep finding some random change. Dang it! See how they just randomly made me go to the store? I was trying to pick up some stuff. Oh lord, she ain't had to pop up like that. You thought I was dead too, didn't you? No, I was 
Doctor, no, I knew protect. you were in dead. I clearly saw the Doctor, blood pump through your veins. I just wanted to pick up a letter. You killed your family. They mocked my talent. Oh god. Ah! All right, looks like she has to die. When you all play through the game, you already have your favorite presets. You can see it down below at the, uh, the bottom right corner what mines are. Did you all choose something different or did you have something similar? That's so powerful now, are you? I've never seen such a radical mutation. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? What did it say? Reach the second source. Gather information in the first. Okay. I'm trying to get this. Oh. Oh, that's why I couldn't get the letter before. Okay. Well, before I get that, let's check and see if there's anything else for me to get around here. Dang it. See? Even in this, I can still see my stuff, so that, that doesn't count. Alright, what's this? Dear Elsa, this is the greatest joy that I confirmed with this letter, your acceptance as a private student info into my acting school. The little scene you had the kindness to perform for me last week convinced me that you have what it takes to be a real actress with stature and courage. As a private student, you'll receive my personal training and coaching. During these intense sessions, you'll be invited to stay at the school. Since I strongly believe in total immersion to expose the full potential of my students. So please remember to bring night attire and anything you may need to spend a week at my school. Yours sincerely, Doris Fletcher. She went crazy. So, she should have gotten to the school. This girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Is that a, a potential clue of where I need to go next? Let's see, uh, I mean, there's always someone else around here. Let me go over here first, see if I can... Nope. Oh, I knew it. When you all play through the, with your first run through, if you've already beaten the game, do you try to collect as much as you could, or did you just try your best to beat the game as quick as possible and uh, more of a story-driven player? Me, personally, I, I feel like I gotta get as much as I possibly can Cause I always feel like I, I don't like the idea of missing something. All right, now I saw a wolf somewhere. What the heck? Reach the second source. Okay. I. Oh my gosh! I know I saw a wolf. Hold on. Hope I can go back in here. Oh good. I just saw a wolf. Oh. Oh, he's there now, okay. Getting ready to take him down. There he is. I'm like, I know I saw him. Whoa. Oh, they're evolving. Resist that time, could you? Sometimes I gotta put people in their place. Or whatever that thing I can't is. believe I'm doing this. Oh, believe it. I, I do like the idea of, you know, the developers actually showing us. You know him getting used to the idea of being a vampire, but after a while, I feel like, especially right now, we're like kind of midway through the game, I believe. I wish we can actually kind of see how he's at least somewhat adapting to it. Like his his conversations with, with himself would be, "Oh, the blood is getting better," or something like that. You know, just showing not only character but also story development. I feel like that would really add to the uh, to the game a whole lot. Just my little tidbits. Oh, where am I going now? Oh, okay, so let me go this way. Perfect. See, I feel like he should definitely be able to 
do his speed run. It shouldn't matter. I feel like if he had like a vampiric speed run, I feel like that would really help with the idea of him, um, uh, like even if he was around people, like run fast enough to where people couldn't see him, instead of being able, not being able to do any powers except for what teleport. Like I feel like that kind of takes away from the game. Good evening, Doctor Reed. A great night, what? I also understand the idea of them, you know not allowing you to just save whenever you want. I mean, the game kind of saves by itself, but I feel like that, that sometimes takes away from it because say if you're not sure what's gonna happen next, um, and I guess that can also add to the, um, I guess the overall gameplay. But I feel like sometimes if you just wanna, you know, try something different or attack a different enemy um, a different way, I feel like you should have the option to do that and not feel uh, pretty much limited in what you're able to do. I guess so much, so many places that they have on here, but we can't access so many, of, so much of the uh, the actual layout of the game, or of the map rather. All right, let's see. I tried here before, but I guess I had to do one place first. So, let's see what I can do here now. Fine, a second, okay. Am I close? Oh, maybe I gotta go around. Dang it. Let's try again. Am I going there right? Yes. Yeah, I think I gotta go in that little uh, plaza. What I will say is, um, uh, one thing that I do like about this game is it really kind of gives me a, um, an in-depth look of how the game could play um, following, if anyone's ever seen a game, either Queen of the Damned or even Interview with a Vampire, I feel like that's, this does a good job at potentially it's telling um, either Louis or Lestat's uh, story. I feel like they really could do that or maybe even add like a DLC option, that'd be really cool. All right, cool. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I missed it. Uh... Ah, here it is. It's so dark in here. You know, actually, another game that I actually enjoyed, uh, besides um, uh, Legacy of King Defiance and um, a little bit of Soul Reaver. Definitely Blood Rain 2, but another game that I actually enjoyed, which I didn't think I would, was, um, what was it called? The, uh, the infamous version when Cole was a vampire? That was a great game. Like, it wasn't that long, or wasn't that long or whatever, but, um, it did its job. And I actually liked the idea of them, uh, adding, like, a, um, like an online version of it. So that was pretty cool. You can actually turn into bats. Like, there was no other game where you can actually become bats and actually fly and navigate so that was really good like I don't even that was really good for you know um, developers who don't primarily work with vampires I think I would love to actually be able to see him evolve maybe if not not definitely not now but probably like at the very end of the game um, maybe have him have the ability to change into bats and fly that'd be really epic that way I wouldn't have to worry about people discovering my, um, uh, like the fact that I'm a vampire. Like this teleportation or this miss or whatever is really cool. The only thing is like, I really feel like it could be done better, you know? Or more can be added to it, I should say more. But who knows, they, the developers might actually take what we would like to have or see in the next game into consideration. Just maybe. I have this thirst for blood. Oh, I think he 
again. I can't believe I'm doing this. Believe it. Pump action shotgun. You know what's weird? I really don't even use the weapons on here. Well, besides like the um, let me see. Besides the um, yeah, like these, like the swords, maces, and all that jazz. Like or in, um, daggers. I barely use any guns. It's just not my style, I guess. Do any of you actually use the guns, or do you have your own like playing style, like with or without the guns, or maybe even like a combination of the two? All right, now let's find out who's yelling. Priscilla. Oh, I think they're married. Or, wow, that's pretty cool. Even in this infestation, marriage prevails. Or maybe they're siblings. How they actually getting quicker. I will say I do like that a lot. the second part oh I mean gather information in a second source infection all right what's around here oh. I just saw something on the ground oh I feel like I'm missing something oh here you go Darling, thank you for the precious perfume and the fur coat. I can't wait to feel your hands on my shivering skin. Oh, for only you, my hero, can make me feel that desire. Please come back to me soon, for I'm dying to press my timid bosom to your chest again. Yes, my beloved, my precious, come back to me, and I promise you a night of eternal and unbridled passion. Right now, I'm wearing nothing but your last gifts. Oh, yes, I'm burning for you, and I can't wait for you to share my untamable lust. Your devoted Doris Fletcher. Oh, seemed like somebody was cheating. So the husband had an affair with uh -huh. Doris Fletcher. Had an affair. See, that Doris Fletcher, scandalous. All right, looks like I'm going to my next location. But all right, everyone, um, that's about it for this video. Um, if you all enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And please be on the lookout for my future uploads. Thanks everyone for watching. That's all I have for now. Until next time.